Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector. Um, got a little unboxing. I just got a package from Walmart, and it is the the mashup of the Back to the Future DeLorean and Transformer um, figure. So let's see how they screwed this up. Usually their boxing is horrible, but it was a pre-order, um, so I ordered it. Let's see how. Um, how they did with packaging this one up. So, as you can see, they're pretty much just tossing in a box. At least the box is big enough to hold the figure. Um, it would have been nice if there would have been some sort of packaging in there to hold it in one place. But, so here we go. So, Back to the Future, 35th anniversary. This is Gigawatt or gigawatt or however people say it um box looks cool so it's got the 2020 logo on here back to the future transformers collaborative um autobot this looks pretty cool packaging wise definitely I think I probably will probably just get another one at some point. Um, this package looks pretty nice though. Here's the um, instructions. Basically you turn the wheels down and pull them apart and pull his head down and top down I mean. Pop his head up. The flux capacitors on the outside. Um, this right here this to me um, is probably the most iconic movie scene that I will ever remember watching as um, in the theater as a kid um, or even as an adult for that matter. Watching the DeLorean coming out of Doc Brown's uh, van, transport van or whatever it is um, with all the smoke and everything and seeing it roll out and just you know, being exposed to a DeLorean on screen for the very first time, ever really seeing the car, um, you know, besides the trailer and stuff. I'm sure there was a trailer. I don't even remember. But just seeing it come out and watching the door open and the smoke and the effects and everything, it was just, you know, I was instantly hooked to uh, this movie and that car. So let's see what he's got here. So a function, he's a time traveler. You're never out of time when you're a time machine. When Marty and Doc Brown need to ride through time, Gigawatt is ready to fly. So it's got his like strength meters, intellect, speed, power, flux, time, tech specs. Um, with all these different languages on the boxes now, it really takes up a lot of space. But it's cool how they have that on there. So if you notice, um, the license plate on here says Back to the Future 2 on it. That's a kind of a cool uh, license plate, actually. You could use an 8 instead of a B, potentially, if you wanted to get that for your car. My, my truck right now says L-I-C space two space I-L-L, -L, license to ill. So I'm a Beastie Boys fan. Uh, here's a picture, he comes with the lightning rod, that's sweet. And on the bottom, just some more, the logo. Everything's made in Vietnam now instead of China, it seems like. So, got some really cool stuff. Um, Let's open them up. If you open them up carefully, you can put them back inside the box, you know, for the most part. Um, here's the inside, 1.21 gigawatts. Powered by the flux capacitor. That's just a regular tech spec of a DeLorean there. See what it looks like. Um, whatever that is. Here's our instructions oh look at that he comes with a optional um, 
Mr. Fusion. All right, so, yep, total plastic. Vehicle. Um, it does look pretty good though. I mean, for a mass produced transformer, you know, they did, they did, they gave it some nod, you know, so some of the actual colors that are on here, I mean, you could really get into here and like custom paint it and make it look like super sweet probably if you wanted to. Um, you can tell that they didn't really make this wheel bigger than this wheel like it should be. But for the most part, I think it looks really nice. Um, no DMC logo on here though, on the front, which is surprising. Let's see what we got. All right, let's try to transform this. All right, step one, turn it over. Step two, open up these flaps. And then number two, turn it over and open up the gullwing doors. They definitely are stuck. Right? They're, they're kind of clip in. Um, then you can, step three is open up the back like that. Um, step three, oh. Step four, so we spin that around. So I spun it around, so it's like that. And it says open these up like this. Um, these just get pushed in and through. to where we're supposed to be. Number 12, taking his arms out. that uh, number 13 we got this part comes over and then the flux capacitor is going to somehow spin around This is kind of a bitch to uh, transform. I said this is supposed to pop open. It's definitely got a. Well. I don't want to break it. Oh, okay. 
still this thing. Got like <clears throat> oh, wow, it's in there. It was really, really in there. you do that you kind of push his arm back in and this clips down like that and uh, looks like this is it so there's gigawatt the transforming Time machine. Um, where is his? Looks like you can attach that to his side of his arm, like a hook or something, like that. It looks like there's actually a spot for the uh, the rifle and for, um, Mr. Fusion. If you want to put him underneath the car, you can put the Mr. Fusion over the top of the nuclear reactor, or use the uh, the lightning rod post as well. So. doesn't fit on there very well. It does, but then it's backwards. flight mode put the wheels down they just kind of flip up that was pretty cool might custom paint some stuff like paint these blue I'm not sure why they did not do that flux bands they should have been just a different color or gray silver a lot of painting you could do on here but was it worth 30 bucks I don't know maybe oh it's pretty cool I think it's probably going to be kept in uh, car mode more than anything, but I wanted to try it out and see how it was. So thanks for joining this video. It was a quick one. Um, watch out for this piece. It's hard. It's kind of got a clip in there to, to move it around, but otherwise, I don't know, it's a pretty cool figure. It's worth the nostalgia of it. There's some little tiny pieces that need to be kind of tweaked and turned on here, so be careful. Take your time. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And uh, hit the like button. That'd be great. Leave some comments what you guys think of the figure if you got one too. And um, hit that bell for notifications of uh, new content. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Hello.